So I got a fly time video for you today. Um, this one comes by request actually from a viewer, so uh, I uh, figured I'd get this one done as soon as possible. Uh, not only that, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to be tying uh, the gold ribbed hairs here, and you, you know, um, it trout season is here now, so you know you're going to hear me mention this fly a lot, so. I figured I'd tie it and uh, talk a little bit about it. First and foremost, we're going to be using a TMC3761 in a, in a size 14. Uh, size 12 is okay. Uh, I do find 14 the best uh, for this particular pattern, but uh, no, uh, feel free to experiment, of course. So uh, to start, I'm just going to build up a little bit of thread base here. Um, I'm using uh, some brown thread. Um, I don't know if it really makes a different difference or not. So the first thing is the tail, and for the tail we're going to be using some uh, fibers from a ring ringneck pheasant tail. And you know you want four or five fibers or so, or as you know as little as three, I guess. And you want to tie the tail in uh, fairly short. So what I'm going to do is just make a couple of wraps and just. Pull that tail forward to where I want it. At this point now I'm just going to tie in the material for the rib. And for the rib we're going to be using some extra small gold tinsel. And I'm just going to tie that in now back to the tail and just set it aside in the material clip there. Okay, so at this point here now, we're going to be tying the body. Now, uh, there are going to be several options, really no limit to what you can use here with regards to color and that. So the first dubbing that I use here is uh, called a Light Hairs Mask, and uh, this is, uh, you know, by far my favorite. It's uh, very similar to a tan dubbing as well. So um, my second favorite is the uh, March Brown. This is actually fine and dry dubbing. It's uh, from Spirit River. You know, not typically used, of course, for uh, nymphs, but uh, I find this particular blend really good. Uh, last but not least is, uh, you know, the Hairs Ear dubbing from Hairline Dubbing. And, you know, this is a really, really good option as well. So, you know, all in all, th those are my top three dubbings that I use for the body, but, um, you, you know, the f feel free to experiment. Um, you know, as I always say, it's all about matching the hatch. So, you know, you want to, um, uh, you know, you want to check out the nymphs net in your area, primarily, of course, the mayfly nymphs, and uh, see what color they are. And, you know, sometimes they even vary from pan to pan. So, you know, it's important to uh, check that out and... Uh, uh, you know, see which color uh, best matches uh, those nymphs in your area. We're going to get this started there now, and I'm going to start out pretty thin and uh, get a little bit thicker as I go up. You can also use uh, a little bit of wax on that if you if you want as well. I don't usually not uh, not for this particular flaw anyway. Just a little bit more there. That should do it. Just uh, try to fix that body up a little bit there now. It's not bad. So now we're just going to take that rib, make a three or four wraps forward. You don't have to be really particular. I don't think we're going to. to uh, have any trout coming up and counting how many wraps you made so <laughs> the next thing we're going to do now is uh, to tie in the materials for the wing casing uh, I usually just use fibers from the uh, ring neck um, pheasant tail again but you know uh, modeled uh, turkey quail fibers are good uh, you know you can experiment with that a little bit as well but so we'll go in and get those fibers tied in there now Just a couple wraps to hold it and just snip off that excess material. Just 
So now we're going to do our abdomen. For that we're using the same dubbing that uh, uh, we use for our body. And the abdomen, you usually go a little bit thicker than uh, you would have the body. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit more, not quite enough there. You know, I always find with dubbing that uh, it's better to use you know a little bit at a time and then add because you know it's uh, not always so easy just to take it off maybe if I tell you another thousand or so I'll uh, probably get the amount right that's a bit better all right so now all we're going to do is just take those materials there for the wing casing just fold it over the top like that just make a couple of wraps, just enough to hold it. And just give it a little twist to, you know, if you need to, just to make sure it's uh, on top there. And when you're satisfied with it, just make another two wraps and just snip off that excess. So now we're just going to whip finish. That's good. At this point now, I'm going to take my brush here and just uh, just kind of like fluff up those uh, fibers around the abdomen there, just around the abdomen. Um, that helps, you know, make it uh, a little bit more lifelike in the water, and of course, it uh, looks like little legs there, right? Makes a difference, of course. That you know, as you use the fly, and you know, the trout is going to tear it up a little bit anyway. So that's actually good for this fly. So at this point now, I'm just going to take a little bit of head cement, and I'm going to put a couple of drops right there on that casing, and of course on the thread there, but two or three drops or so. So anyway, guys, uh, that's it for that pattern. It's uh, you know, it's a pretty simple pattern. It's been around for a very long time, and uh, you know, it's uh, very effective. And I definitely wouldn't go trouting without it. You know, as always, and I, you know, I've already said in this video, you know, it's uh, you know, it's always about uh, matching the etch, and you know, everywhere you go is different. So you know, it's crucial to uh, you know whatever ponds you um, you visit a lot to you know pay attention to uh, the hatches there and the colors and this sort of thing and uh, you know m try to match things up uh, as close as possible to uh, whatever you have in your area so uh, with all that said guys that's it for this one uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch and i uh, hope you have uh, some success with this fly and i'll see you in the next one